stops. Why uh, did you feel like your team's offense was in such a good rhythm and flow tonight? I, no, I think we were, we were better at making that extra pass, that extra play for the teammate. Uh, I think that's what it is. It's kind of starting to click a little bit. Uh, we're looking at some at the tape, what we're not doing and what we are doing right, and we're re- reinforcing the things that we're doing right. And uh, yeah, and I think that ball movement, that that little extra for your teammate, it's it's paying off for us. And um, of course, not every game is going to be great rhythm like tonight, but but tonight things clicked, and and we're happy with that. We we got the win against one of the best teams in the league. Chris, uh, their coach was saying that they lost the game because of their lack of defensive intensity. What did you guys do to make them lose the game because of the lack of defensive intensity? Uh, so, I mean, he's probably right. You know, those guys, if their record is 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 this, then then they probably played with more energy some other games. I don't know, but uh, I think you know most of the guys that were out there felt pretty comfortable, got in a great rhythm. Corey was perfect from the field, so. Um, Kuz had a great game. Denny was making the right reads, making the right plays. So everybody was comfortable, and and uh, and of course, you know, some of it is it's uh, it's us just playing the right way and, and and having good rhythm. But you know, we we want to focus on on what we're doing, and and tonight was was a step forward for us. KP, it's just a guess, but did you win the defensive belt tonight? Yes, I did. What uh, <laughs> did? Uh, how did uh, how do you approach trying to defend the the rim? I mean, is it, and how have you grown in that area over your career? Yeah, yeah, I think that's where where I'm the best at when I can be sagging off a bit more off of my guy and, and helping my teammates protecting the rim, being in the paint, um, and and yeah, you know, I just have to find the right balance when when I have a guy like, for example. Olenek, you know, he can shoot from outside, so there are situations where I have to be careful. I cannot sag off too much, uh, so I have to find that right balance um, to be there for my teammates, but also make sure my guy is not wide open. Um, so yeah, we were, you know, uh, the coaches are putting me in that in that uh, role, and and I enjoy being in that role. What'd you think about the uh, putback dunk you had? Uh, the putback. It was okay. Like live, is, live, it was better. Like I watched the video on Twitter. I saw it. I was like, ah, the angle was it, maybe from a different angle. It would look better, honestly. So it felt better than it looked. So it was okay. I gave us six out of ten. <laughs> What's uh, the key for you guys to continue moving the ball on offense once Brad is reintegrated? Um, just keep playing the same way. I think uh, once Brad is back, we're, it's going to be even more attention off of Kuz, off of Tay, off of everybody. So, myself. So, looking forward to that. I think uh, we're th- things are clicking, and 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 we, now we get Brad back. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, uh, we're gonna be with way more weapons, with way way more uh, force. So, um, I think I think you know, I think it's gonna be interesting. What do you think about Denny's game tonight? Denny was really good. As I said, Denny. Uh, Denny was making the right reads, making the right plays, playing hard defense, doing everything that Denny needs to do to to uh, to have a good good game, and and I'm happy for him. Uh, and he's he's important for us, you know. We need we need him to be at this at this level for us to be good, and he knows that, and he's always working. And happy for him that to have a to have a solid all around game like tonight. Not a question about the game, but what does it mean to you that Latvia is a uh making it to the World Cup for the first time. So happy, man. Oh, man. It's the first time in history, you know. So uh, the work that we did in the summer, uh, you know, we got those two important wins. Now another window, and we pretty much needed one win to be 99% in. And things worked out for us. Uh, I don't know who had to lose, Turkey or somebody had to lose, a win or whatever. All I know is we're in, and, uh, and yeah, we're going to be going to... Uh, to Asia next next summer and, and believe me I'm I'm excited about that. How important is it for the team when Corey is able to hit threes like he was able to do tonight? Oh yeah, he, he's he's one of the best shooters on our team. And when he gets going, when he has that rhythm and, and that shot locked in, he's I mean they, they have to choose, you know, if if and what what I love about him is how good of a cutter he is. You know, he's making those cuts, he's 
he's as I said in the post game interview the on the court he's like um, I don't know it's his second or third year in the league but he's playing like a 10 year vet in a lot of those situations like he's making the right reads he's making hard cuts like he's he's doing all the right things like the small things the important things or maybe not the uh, visible things really well you know and and that's that's helping the whole team but that, those are things you don't see that he does and and uh yeah he's you know as, as he gets you know more more playing time and more um and more opportunities i think that the more he will show and, and tonight was an example of what he's capable of kp sorry if someone asked this already but with these three past wins do they feel like individual wins and it's separate three separate games or is it feeling like you guys are kind of building off of good habits now at all i can speak for myself for me it's day by day you know tomorrow's another day we got a tough team memphis um and 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 we got to go day by day we're we're, we're you know of course we want to take the momentum that we're you know playing with high confidence everybody's feeling good into the next game but again it's a completely different opponent completely different situations matchups all that so uh we have to we have to prepare well for them and go game by game situation by situation and and uh yeah and keep building as i said keep building off of those good things that we're doing cool i can go home and watch ufc now <laughs> There's a lot of my guys fighting tonight. Oh, Hamza Chimaev, he's not fighting tonight. No. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. The whole the whole card is insane. I can't wait.